Again, I don't really care about them. You can go to the Desert of Didgeridoos. Which is this game, which is the music level from Rayman 1, which I never got past as a kid. Thankfully, this one is infinitely easier. Stop the silliness. Don't get bubble ice before your time. Take heart. So look, extra heart goes to your friends. That's only a multiplayer. And you look, extra heart gives extra lungs. Don't get crushed. Even a heart can't save you. Yeah, pretty much. I'm a get crushed. I'm a insta kill. Wow, the didgeridoo sound is a lot more is a lot more obvious when you've got when you've got headphones on. Okay, the stage is pretty much music based. I'm a drums we bounce off of. I'm the didgeridoo's sort of serve as like warp pipes of sorts. Now you got this thing here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, that red thing will hurt you, so try to avoid it. Alright, gonna need to, have to time this one. Something we're, there is something we're going to be getting that's a little, um, uh, um that makes make something like that a little easier to do. But I don't know when that is. Uh, don't think I can get that. Not from here, anyway. It doesn't matter if you die, like, you just get sent back to the last checkpoint. Um, uh, you have infinite lives in this game, and um, uh, unfortunately, you're you're gonna need all of them. pretty simple. I just need to go across this. Just pretend they're barrels like you're playing Donkey Kong or something. Da -da 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 -da. It's been a long time since I've played that game. Not that I have, like, any real reason for that to. Oh, another fairy. And this one floats. Oh, come on, I caught that. Yeah, it's... it's not, This is unfortunately scripted. Like, it's not a matter of catching up to it. You need to get to the end. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter how fast you go. You just you need to go to the end. Ugh. 
work? Yeah. That's what that's what greed will do to you. <laughs> oh. Did a little worse than last time. I don't know why they made them. I don't know why they made the fairy so sexualized in this game. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I need to press it twice. Yeah, it's not really fly, it's more or less hover. Um, this was some uh, Rayman's um, air helicopter ability in um uh, the la in the last game, uh, the first game. I'll take that, thank you. All right, I've got enough for the um uh, two electrons here. Oh, uh, for the loop. <laughs> Gotcha. so far um uh, the most i've died so far was in this stage because i kept screwing up the um uh timing this should be fine otherwise all right on to the next stage and we're about we've got about two hours left okay plenty of time not to beat this game, of course. I, I imagine this will take uh, two free sessions. Best original score. Scores in music. It's it's play on. It's a joke. Fucking laugh. <laughs> what do you got to say, wizard? This is way better than the movies. Okay. Yeah, we have these um, little toucans that um, uh, go on the um, uh, note lines now. They do pop down, like, they do pop down and will eventually fall. They're temporal platforms. I think the Cyclops bird is um, uh, a spring. Yep. Also, I see that. Right. 
I do honestly really like the tokens. I think they're one of my favorite things in this game. Just because, like, I, I genuinely like toucans. Because I, I think they're such cute birds. Not to mention, such a funny look to them in general. It's just because, like, and their beaks look like bananas. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Okay, let's try that again properly. Got ya! Okay, these guys, we can't jump on them, so just ignore them. We hit this, they go away. I just noticed the um, uh, it's because the ground is a keyboard. They each make their own their own notes as well. See a token. Bounce off those things. Alright, so, uh, you know what? Forget it. Also, hold, pressing the A button again to a um, uh, hover is going to take some getting used to as well. I should just pretend it's Sonic 3 when, and I'm playing as Knuckles. Yeah, unless I somehow get 25 moves in this stage alone, or in this area alone. Yeah. Oh well. Unless for some reason I'm lucky enough and this one's small this one has a smaller uh, I'm uh couldn't remember, couldn't quite figure out the word there, but nah. I don't think there's a way to speed this up either. Oh well. 
Again, not a big deal. I'm playing this on. I'm playing this under my own terms anyway. So, not to be character. I think that's the glow box, Teensy. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's the glow box, Teensy. Does look kind of cool. But stick with this little guy. At least for now. So now we need 55 for this one. Now the majority of these are Teensies. Some are like, I think, I think with the exception of the last two, all of them are teensies in this area. I think the last two is like a dark Raymon and a dark glow box. Well, maybe not dark, but undead. I forget. Now if I hold down the hover button, I can float up these. So it's like I'm getting winds under my um, uh, robes. So get used to puzzles like these in this area. And I screwed up. Music's sweet though. Damn it. Or I don't. Alright, so I can't do a slam down on this. Nope. Okay, good to know. So there's no fast way to go down. And I forgot to hit the A button again. Also, I, I, gen I genuinely just like the sound Didgeridoo's make. I think it does actually sound cool. Got here. Another election spot. I think this is the first one for the stage. I don't quite remember. Either way, don't need to fight these guys. I've just pressed one of these. Send them flying. Hold on now. We gotta use these to get up there. We just use this one. There we go. Yeah, that was the first one. For some reason, I was mistaken. The for some reason, I was mistaken. The last stage is still part of this level. I think mean, it's because of similar aesthetics. Still, I'm in the desert of didgeridoos. I should expect deserts and didgeridoos. Whoop. Also, getting this coin is straight up mean. I 
And that's why. I might just skip that one altogether, honestly, because that one's just dickish to go through. Yeah, I think I'm just going to skip that one. So again, if I'm going to enjoy this game, I have to play it on my own terms. I know I'm supposed to entertain you guys, but like, at the end of the day, if I'm not having fun, odds are you're not having fun watching me. Unless it's something like I'm uh, getting over it, where no one has fun, but everyone enjoys watching it. What a shitty game. I've never played getting over it, but after watching... Um, uh, a few people play it themselves. Like, I'm like, not a chance, mate. Not a chance. I'm not even going to touch that game. I don't do well with rage games. In fact, Raymond Origins was actually the um, uh, first game that made me realize that I don't do well with rage games. Yeah, like, I'm a, when I was trying to go for 100% in this game, um, uh, okay, I, when I say 100%, I mean, like, all the tricky treasures and all the electors, and the secret final level you get by doing all the tricky treasures. Um, uh, here's the thing, like, it's so frustratingly difficult, like, with how precise you have to be, and... Sometimes um, uh, the auto run a bit in those were RNG, actually had some RNG to it. Like, I don't think it was intended to have that, but like, there were just some points where, like, it just straight up wouldn't work. And um, uh, that was a game where I kind of learned that um, uh, when I am um, a uh, get so angry at a game, I am um, a uh, start hurting myself. Punching myself in the leg, like, biting on my arm, like, just to relieve frustration. Needless to say, it wasn't exactly healthy. Not especially, like I said, I'm, uh, like, the... Oop. Like, the ending to the game, like, the ending to getting fucked. Doing everything in the game just left me so empty inside after doing all of that so that I never touched this game again for a long time. After the second playthrough, and then eventually the third playthrough, I did end up enjoying this game, but only when I was doing it my way. That's just how it is. I, I apologize if, if I sound sound if, if I keep like complaining about this sort of stuff, but it's the truth. I'll try to say less about it and more about the positives of this game. But like, this was like the straw that broke the camel's back that made me realize that maybe I'm not as big of a fan of the Rayman series as I thought I was. Because like, I was always one of those people that was like always excited to get, to get a new Rayman game, but because I, but because I was like. Because I've never finished one besides Raving Rabbids and this game. It's like, wow, I don't like the Rayman series. <laughs> but I, I I am enjoying this game. Anyway, I'm just going to take a um, uh, short break. When we get back, we'll um, uh, do some more of this. See you in a minute.
Okay, I'm back. Um, uh, truth be told, it was just a pee break. <laughs> Alright. So we've got one more stage to do. And then we got the then we got the bonus stage and the sky stage. Sky with Sonata. The um, uh, not so favorable spin-off to Sky with Sword. I like Sky with Sword, but it is way too bloated. Honestly, I never had a problem with the motion controls. Like, I thought the motion controls worked perfectly fine. I'm just noticing, like, very little audio details just because I'm wearing headphones now. But each step actually has a different um, uh, toot to it. I mean, it makes sense. There's air blowing through them and you're, and you're blocking one of the holes, so it makes a different sound. Tickets to get some stuff. Get some stuff. Oh, so, sorry, I'm about to get prizes. Sorry. Honestly, though, like those arcades are kind of, I'm a kind of jet. Okay, maybe not jet, but like pointless because I'm um, uh, a the stuff you can get. Um, a the stuff you get there. Um, uh, takes way too many tickets. Also, I should be speeding up there. Not getting those. Whoop! <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> um, funny. Um, when you hold down the run button, you, you um, but not move. You you hold you hold it and you sort of like run in place. Doing it on the digitizers made it kept repeating the sound. I'm definitely starting to like this game a lot more than I am uh, thought I was going to. But I'm also waiting until we get to like my favorite stage in the game. Which I believe is level which I believe is world 4, so it's going to be a while. Might be able to get to it in this session. Oh, wait, stop, stop. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, not getting those. Well, I've got a second chance of getting those. Again, the fact that I can't even use the D-pad for this, I have to use the joystick. Like that's that's throwing me off. Uh, I would go after that bag, but I don't think it's worth it. I just like running in place on these things. But the sound it makes is actually pretty catchy. So it's actually got a good tune to it. I like it. Oh my god, 215. And I think we've got one more electron room. Oh, that should be quick. I kind of realized that I didn't finish what I was saying about um, uh, Skyward Sword, but I, I, I got perfect. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I thought the controls were um, uh, perfect, honestly. Like, I didn't have any problems with them. 
so when uh, people were complaining that that the, that the controls were unresponsive or that it had or that it was clearly um uh, undone like underutilized or that it needed more time like I, i'm just like what are you guys talking about shit like what are you talking about like this works fine War flashbacks are starting to settle in now. I'm, I'm starting to remember like the things that I didn't like about this game. <laughs> Seriously, why did I not notice this? Well, because I didn't have headphones when I was playing this for the first time. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Funny though. Say screw it to that. <laughs> Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Oh no, I got both. I think I'm beginning to realize one particular problem I've got with this game. Like, one other problem, a minor one, is that I'm, uh, some of the stages kind of blend together. <laughs> Either way, I haven't got a, uh, I haven't got the fifth one, but oh well. But you do need a certain number of electoons to um, uh, unlock the next world. But usually it's pretty generous. <laughs> Fuck that. So what, so what's the requirement? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. Turning back. Oh, no, I don't. Hover, you bitch. I don't think that's enough for both of them. Yes, let's just go. I'm starting to do. I'm start... oh, it's 175. I was definitely not close. I'm definitely starting to do a bit worse now, but. Oh well. Mosquito stage, shoot me softly. I don't remember these ever being that bad, honestly, so. 
So I don't really know what, what to expect. It's been a while. Uh, the last platformer game that's similar to this I've played was Donkey Kong Country Returns. Sorry, Don Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Which, by the way, that game is awesome. You should definitely go play it. If you haven't already, of course. Or even if you have played. Even if you have played it, play it again. Should not tell me the love and support. This is the um, uh, ice and fire level. Tremendously, that's actually uh, it's, it's pretty cool, if not typical concept. I wouldn't say typical. Like, it hasn't really been combined before, but there have been platforms where it has combined them before. I think Banjo Tooie did it. Um, uh, I know Mario Galaxy did. I actually don't remember what else did it. But either way, it's not something brand new, but it's still like really interesting to see. I think Legend of Zelda might have done it. But I'm drawing a complete blank. So far we're doing pretty good. I'm uh, wrong. 